How's it going? Um, welcome back to another video on my uh, channel and today I have uh, a retro piece of equipment that I'm deciding to do a review on. I actually had originally done a review of this um, about a year or two ago but um, I just decided to do another one for a uh, change because I thought that was an old one and I actually didn't fully describe maybe some of the features that I could have done um, but I'm just decided to do it now, uh, do another rerun, so hopefully it'll be um, a little bit better this time around, but uh, anyhow, uh, here in front of me I have um, my Sony two-way speaker system, which I've had for 31 years, it's actually uh, my dad's, but um, he's had it, he got it in 1989, and it's um, in really great condition, actually, it's um, been in great condition, actually kept in great condition over the last few years um you know it's actually really cool and i just said i it's a cool piece of equipment and i really wanted to actually review it again so uh here's the really here here it really is in its full view anyway but um yeah um so yeah the speak speaker is actually in uh, good good condition plays well it's a bit unfortunately a bit dirty but um it's still it's a good you know but uh, it's gone well um I'll show you the back actually it's the handle obviously and um i don't know actually what that's for but um it's always been on it sorry that's for fine tuning it to make it sure you can get it actually perfect um when really tuning in the radio stations um, that's the where the batteries I think go in here in the back this part and I think this is the back speaker and there's two screws keeping that in so I think you need a good screwdriver to get um, those screws out which keeps it in good tact um, you know there's the warnings obviously um, see you know this is electric equipment, you know, you don't want to put it anywhere near and bad like water, but um, yeah, and it's a uh, Sony uh, radio model number is CFM-140, or is it OL, I'm not sure, too, and then you see the full details of the radio here, and there you go, assembled in Malaysia, you know. Where a lot of equipment is made in either in Malaysia or China, but um, yeah, this is actually cool antenna, which just gives good signal. I just try put it up here. So there you go, um, pretty cool. You know, it actually gets good signal out from it, which is actually pretty good. For getting on the radio stations, I actually have it plugged in over there, which is um, helpful because you don't want it not switching on. But uh, yeah, and here, um, the radio said the main functions basically. That's when that's on, the red light goes on. That's the headphone jack, and this is um, pretty much the main corners here on the radio. That's pause. Um, stop, um, rewind, fast forward, you can, that presses play, and um, that's the record button as well, um, and if you want to play the radio, you just pull this up, and then if you want to play the tape, you just pull it down here, um, that's FM, this is the bandwidth, FM, MW, LW, and SW, put them all on for different wavelengths on the waves which one you want you just pull it to volume um goes one to ten obviously higher the volume better you can hear um and this is the tuning which is really cool it's a nice little dial and uh you know just fine tunes the stations you want and actually you can move move it there's a little dial here you might be able to see um sorry if you if i move that dial it causes this little 
meter to move up and down on sea. 